If I say I, who I really want, yeah, I won't even believe me. Triple G don't want to fight. He don't want to fight, so I won't come yeah. up, though. I guarantee you I'm retired for a fight. Hold on, watch out, watch out, watch out. If I can't get it. Al Heyman is the best. We got the best fighters over here. Oh, God. The best. The best. Oh, God. Hey, and we all got a check. Oh, listen, 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 listen. A.B. We coming back. Yeah, we back. We back. We got the best big names in boxing. The WBC has announced Arrow the Truth Spence Jr. versus Showtime Sean Porter. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego in the back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We working now. The WBC on their verified Twitter account, you see the blue check mark. And they let the cat out the bag. There's the check mark. They said that Errol Spence and Sean Porter is a done deal. So let me go to the post. A couple days ago, they posted this. It says, breaking news. Porter versus Spence has been announced, and we are waiting for the date for it. What do you think? Hashtag WBC. Hashtag conquer everything. Hashtag boxing. Hashtag Porter Spence. Now... We've heard this rumor circulating for quite some time, and it looks to be the case because one, the WBC, this is their champion. You know, Sean Porter is their champion, so I, I would think they know what's going on and are kind of let in on the negotiations. The reason why I don't think it's been officially announced is because they haven't announced if it's going to be at the Barclay or, you know, the venue, but this is their champion, so again, I would imagine the WBC is uh, familiar with what's going on. Want to talk about the fight? I think it's a good fight. I heard they might not even do it on pay-per-view, which is, you know, that's great for the boxing fan. So they don't have to pay pay-per-view prices. You know, Mike Coppinger was one of the people that uh, reported that he, his information. Here it is right here. Sources, the welterweight unification matchup between Errol Spence Jr. and Sean Porter isn't finalized yet, but it's getting close. The fight could land at Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York this summer, told it's unlikely to land on pay-per-view. So this is great news. You know, if you if you really think about it, the welterweight division, this helps shape it. You know, two guys have belts. And this will will help consolidate that. So we get to see who's who. Errol Spence has been waiting for this moment. Look what he put. Errol Spence says, me and Al versus everybody. I don't give a fuck who say what. I don't have a promoter. So he riding with his advisor. And look, so it looks all but done. This was a couple days ago. A fan says, Spence, it's time to unify, brother. I am my next fight, LOL. So that's what it is. You know, I know some people are going to bring up Terrence Crawford. Crawford's a phenomenal fighter as well, but he signed an extension with top rank. He's aligned with Bob Arum. Bob Arum's ranting on Al Heyman. I heard, I heard they had some kind of dialogue, but, you know, we already knew this was in the works, so they're aligning Spence to possibly be the next American star, get a crack at the belts, and if he does fight Crawford, it'll be he'll be in the position of having the leverage you know, he'll have the leverage of an A-side he did 47,500 with Mikey Garcia at this man's Jerry's World, Dallas he did 15,000 before he has the IBF, he has a strap season hat if you beat Sean Porter, you have the respected and coveted WBC. This is a smart plan. Chess moves by Al Heyman. Again, this is no knock on Terrence Crawford, but his last pay-per-view ended kind of in an um, anticlimactic way because he was doing his thing, but Amir Khan ended up kind of quitting. The numbers still haven't come out. Um, Bob Arum's not confirming the numbers, but industry sources are saying it's about 150000 
for ESPN. Think about how many homes ESPN is in. I told you they didn't really promote the fight. Um, but if you consider, you know, how many homes have the ESPN, you know, channel. And I know the Crawford Con was ESPN pay-per-view, but they could have been putting out and pumping out promotion. Errol Spence versus Mikey Garcia on Fox's first pay-per-view for boxing, or at least the first one I can remember for boxing, was, I would say, a success. Errol Spence looked dominant. He won every single round. It was a packed house. It's only going to get greater from here. And then the numbers weren't too shabby either. They did about 360, 375,000, 400,000, right around there. Those are like Canelo numbers, unless Canelo is fighting. If you look at Canelo's fight with Edison Lada, Canelo's fight with um, Alfredo Perro Angulo, when he's coming off the Floyd loss, Liam Smith and Amir Khan, those type of numbers, Mikey Garcia and Errol Spence are in the same echelon. If not, they beat some of those Canelo fights that I just mentioned. Canelo's getting, obviously, better numbers when he fought Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. because Cinco de Mayo, two Mexican fighters, people thought it was going to be a war. And then, like, the Golovkin fights, Cotto fight, Mayweather fight. But, you know, this is just the beginning for Errol Spence. And then for Sean Porter, he's coming off... Um, he didn't look great his last fight with Ugas, but it's a chance to redeem himself. And this is what Errol Spence wanted. He was calling out guys like Sean Porter, Danny Garcia, Keith Thurman. And that's why he keeps saying tables have turned because now it's getting to the point where it's his moment. Guys are having to fight him due to pressure. Guys are having to fight him because he's putting up numbers and he has a belt. You know, that's the great thing about boxing. It's only a matter of time before these fights manifest. Either you're going to be pressured to or someone's going to just continue growing and doing their thing getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger to the point where you can't overlook them you know the pressure and the fans is going to grow too big so you know i'm happy and especially if they don't put this on pay-per-view if they put this on regular fox that's dope you know they're really they're really giving these pbc guys all the opportunities for sean porter it's a chance to unify against a, a certified threat in errol spence and collect another belt that he used to have, the IBF belt, right? And then for Errol Spence, it's a, t a chance for him to keep growing his profile, you know, keep setting goals and numbers and hit up them viewership numbers and become America's star. Let me know what you guys think. I think it's a good fight. You know, I do want to see the Crawford fight, but you know that's not going to happen. And like I said, and I keep saying no one can complain about this fight in lieu of Crawford fight because Crawford just got up to welterweight and he has three fights at welterweight. Sean Porter has a certified resume. Fought Danny Garcia, Kell Brook, Keith Thurman, you know, Andre Berto, Adrian Granados, your Dennis you guys. You know, his resume is thick. Broner, I don't know if I said that. So there's nothing anyone could say about this shouldn't be happening or this unification you can't you can't knock a sean porter errol spence unification in favor of a crawford fight because you would be doing it only based on the eye test and that's not right and that's not fair plus we know this fight is going to be exponentially easier to make without bob arum screaming and saying al Heyman's ruined it and stop patronizing his events and you know it's just an easier fight to make you know there's pressure for sean porter to make it it's a chance at the opportunity to unify and they're on the same side of the fence so it's been brewing for a while you know the crawford fight is a good fight no doubt about it but there's no way you can slander this fight when spence would be fighting a guy with a deeper welterweight resume who used to fight at 165 in the amateurs and has an amateur pedigree you know so it is what it is let me know what you guys think it looks all to, all but announced, but I will give you guys an update when it's officially announced. But it looks like we have some big fights. The other thing is Pacquiao versus Thurman. These are big fights for the summer. You know, Charlo's coming back. Both of them are going to be fighting in the same month. Texas is taking over. You know, the welterweight division is getting shaped. You've seen Danny Garcia get a win in the win column. He looked real good, real, real good versus Adrian Granados. You have Sean Porter versus Errol Spence. Looks all but announced. And the same thing with Pacquiao Thurman. 
this is boxing people the welterweight division is definitely shaping up let me know what you guys think drop your thoughts in the comment section make sure you smash the like button as always hate comment and subscribe till next video is ego signing off so if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button, and you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.